hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am trying something new for you guys. Today I'm going to record my reaction to no headphones from my TV and I'm going to edit it down to so it's only about 30 minutes for you guys to watch instead of almost an hour. So I'm going to explain why I can't do the little clip over here in the corner because I don't have I can't afford the software to do that. And it's really hard to find the software that can do that with my laptop. The laptop I have is a Google Chrome and it's very difficult to find things that will work with it. So I just do what I normally do. I don't do that right now until I can afford to get the software that will work. So that's gonna be it. So tell me what you think about this, doing it this way and I hope you like it. So right now we are going to get into this. I mean, no, that's not good. Is somebody in her closet? Is that what's going on right now? I was waiting for a jump scare, man. This is what happens when you watch horror movies all your life. You are prepared for jump scares. I can't sleep on my back. I've tried. It doesn't work. I feel sleep on my side or my stomach. That's it. Not my back. is that for real though it is scary you just surprised the hell out of me so kelly klein is in the way no trace great no idea who was first kids in the pot if it isn't already so basically we got nothing basically all right well we do have this other thing yeah, we don't know if it takes nine months like a regular child or if it comes like half of the time. Teacher, his tongue had ripped out. It didn't kill him. No, but having his internal organs crushed, dead. No obvious damage to torso, no point of entry, which maybe. And he was seen alive just a couple hours earlier, giving a student tour of the museum. Haven't seen him in a while. I'm sure I'll look at some mess. Nope, she's busy. She's still working with him. Hey, Dean. Nothing. Just a uh, motel outside Newark. No, no special plans. You know, pay per view, magic fingers, the huge. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet of you to think of me. Tongue worked out. Wow. I, uh,. Actually, still sort of resting up after that old Ramiel thing, but if you need me, you sure? Okay, rain check. Hey, I love you. You're an excellent live, Mary. Comes with a gem. I haven't told my sons I'm working with you. 
I get it, and I understand. Sam and Dean aren't our biggest fans. Yeah, because you uh, tortured them. We've been through that. Right. It wasn't you, it was your uh, rogue operative. Exactly. Am I supposed to trust you because of so, that? Drink? Drink? Yeah. You resist first. Humiliation. We touch you. Until finally. You're worn down by your utter helplessness. Is that Lucifer? And you call me. He's back. Master. You brag of your superior power. My yeah, because that's like everybody was wondering if he's back to play Lucifer. I've had a dozen of my most loyal studying the cage where you are. Oh, snarky, devilish comments. What's that mean for? You have nothing to say. Thanks. I mean, all that effort. So you could have had me back in the cage, but no, you needed your sad little revenge. How do you think this is going to end? Nice new gigs, by the way. Cozy. Get this. It looks like there was another murder on. I will. No, Andover, Massachusetts. Six months ago, a woman body in the same condition. She was a teacher too. Do you have hunger, right? You said she was too tired? Yeah. What? I don't know. I just feel like something's going on with her and she ain't talking about it. Mom's hunting again. That's a grind. You know that. She just needs a little time. To me. That's all. Yeah. You're in Mr. Pearson's bag, guys. And we know Dean's right. There is something going on that she's not talking about. I'll be back here in one minute. Where's this up? <laughs> like for real doll. But you run now. Why isn't he running? Oh my god. For real, bro. Run. Run. Seriously? Don't know what to say about that. He should have ran. I would have. I would have wanted to find this all. That's what I would have done. They're always filled with ADHD spirits and their tethers, you know. Well, if our killer is a chain rattler, how are we going to figure out which one it is? It's a good point. Sadly. Very high. Found you! Uh, just some orange juice. Please. Small. So? What do you do? I have no idea. Well, take it from me. Before kids, your life is yours. Once they show up, life as you know it is over. Yeah. And you have Satan's sure baby. This is gonna go. But whenever it's it out, bad. you're totally gonna love the little girl. Hmm. Not so sure about that. Really? Aztecs were pretty serious about their killings. Aztec ghost. Yeah, I like that. Really, Dean? Really? 
<sighs> yeah. To, from a ship, um, a brigand team called the Star, sunk in a storm off the Maryland coast, currently on loan from the Maritime Museum in Whiteford, and over Massachusetts. Really? Yeah. Huh. Sunk in a storm in 1723. Wait a minute, I know something about something about this ship. Huh? Um, it was uh, headed to the New World. We anchor in Leith, Scotland. Leith, yes. What? The Adam McLeod. This was a ship. Crowley's kid? Yep. Sorry, it's just a... Uh, you, you know, actually... I could use a little dad advice right about now. When do you let him date? No pushing, ladies! Let's be as polite on the bus as we were in the museum. Class, no saving seats. No food on bus Okay. Your little stories it's traveling now. But you said there was something in this for me. If the killer is a ghost, it may be tethered to something on the ship. So, we need intel on the vessel. That's a library card. You two still will be for helping you in Arkansas. Sit down. We know of a guy who has first-hand knowledge of the star. So? So, if you find him, we actually do have something that you like. Like, really like. Is this eyewitness? Come with me if you want to live. Wow. All right, then. All black and white. Good versus evil. Those people who were trying to kill you? Hmm. Angels. Yeah, that's right. Not quite the harps and hands. Because thought. of your baby. And why they want you dead? Because you're carrying an innocent child. This first child. I know you're scared. Don't believe what you see in the movies. Get the facts straight. No one is born good or bad. It's all in Get the, the facts straight, people. This child, your child, he could save us all. Hey. You didn't know. I know. Kelly, the angels, the Winchesters, the good guys, they want you dead. But I can protect you. I can protect your son. You don't have to run anymore. Because if this child is born, I believe that would make him the Antichrist. I believe so. There he is. Yeah. Get him in. Hey, Gavin. Good to see you. I was locked in the 21st century train. Yeah. Fine. Where's my father? 
walk with us, Dad. Mm. I said, Casey, hey, how about that? We might have exaggerated a little bit. Lied. We lied. Okay, well, we knew you wouldn't come if it was just us. We need your help, Dad. Help. Help. No, nah, we're fine. Um, just hear us out, please. How did you find me? Your grandmother. What are you going to do to me? Well, I'll ask you a few questions about this. Dear God, that's the star. That's my ship. I'm sure, man. Yeah, we know all about her. You figure there's someone you want to meet. Your grandmother. Hello, Gavin. You look just like my father when he was young. Gavin? Your Rowena, your grandmother. Grandmother? She couldn't be alive. Well, technically, dude, neither can you. <laughs> Amazing. Father told me she'd gone down in the storm, and that was the end. The end of you two, if he'd been aboard. Aboard? Yes. Let us know if you recognize it. No. No. Oh, that's Mr. McCallum's hook. Had no hand, you see. Mm. No. <clears throat> oh. oh, sweet Lord. What? It's the locket, the locket. I bought it myself. It was a gift for my fiona. Darling, you had to be get our friend. I just added to the exhibit six months ago. Fiona Duncan, the love of my life. When she found out I was going to America, nothing would do but I take her with me. I told her it was too dangerous. How did you get here? If you didn't board the ship, didn't she? What's that you say? Come in? Don't mind if I do. If Fiona came that night, I was gone. And she would have thought that you loved her. Dear God, she must have smuggled herself aboard. Would she really have done something like that? Iron will, that one. She had stayed mm -hmm. hidden until they were at sea and there was no turning back. She would die. This is all in our program. Unfinished business. We have a ghost. Probably tend to do the A ghost? Yeah. Mafia is a ghost? Yeah. Uh, where is it saying? I have 121. 121? Yeah, all right. So, what? It's gone. Hmm. Terrific. So, about that drink. No. No good, actually. Your sons, I'm sure they're fine lads and all, but it might be best if you were to disengage from them a bit. Disengage? <laughs> this work. It's demanding, and it must come first. The men of letters is my family. I'm sorry. Nothing comes before my family. Not with me. Really? Or is that just what you want to believe? You're Easy different now. when you talk to them. Softer, weaker, not an insult, just an observation. Careful now. But when you hunt Mary, you're one of the best I've ever seen. Now you might play at being a good mummy, but when you're in the thick of it, nothing but a blade in your hand and blood in the air, that's the real you, the best you. And I think you know it. And I think that scares the hell out of you. And you're about to get beat. Sorry, I'm not Dr. Chalk. <laughs> oh, restless spirit. Make thy presence known to me.
Fiona, Zazai, Gavin. You hear it, Gavin. I must speak with you. Gavin, you abandoned me. You, where were you? I came to your room. I it wasn't my fault. I was sent somewhere else. I hid myself aboard the star, and you weren't there to protect me. The crew, they came to scorn me and mock me. And worse, use me in a way no woman should be used. Oh, dear God. The other passengers, did no one help you? Oh, nothing. And Mistress Alloway, our teacher, she said I deserved it for throwing myself at you. Teachers, they claim to love children, and then they betray them. I couldn't punish her, but others will pay her debt. Her life aboard that ship was so unbearable, she felt death would be a relief. But the sweet maiden I knew is now a spirit bent on revenge. So if we agree if you has to be stopped. The cube where the bones are at the bottom of the wreck. The wreck could destroy the lock and her again. She might also be tethered to something else in the ship. Either way, nothing can bring back the poor people she killed. Actually, there might be a, a way to fix pretty much everything. Well, yeah. You have to go back. Keep Fiona from going Casper in the first place. Yeah. There's no reason for her to be a ghost if she's not angry and alone. On the ship. You don't intend to tamper with the flow of time, do you? That's up to Gavin. I'm looking for a fix here, okay? This is it. Get him aboard that ship. He travels with you and keeps you safe. And go to his day. That's your solution. Why didn't say it was a fun one, okay? Just the one, and you know it. And it would keep history intact. I was thinking the same thing. I loved her. She loved me. That's the only reason any of this happened. I can spare her the nightmare she's trapped in. Can we say I ever fit here? Here I'm alone. Fiona and me will spend eternity together. Never gonna happen. Just because dim and dim it, Seriously? Family, all in the same dimension. Doesn't mean they can mess with mine. Arthur, I want to do this. What you want is a gym membership. Happy hour with hooters and Cubs tickets. None of which are available anywhere else but here. I've made up my mind. Why did you call me? You called him. To see. Goodbye. Let him go, Fergus. Butt out. Fergus? He's not like us. He believes in things. Let him do what he believes is right. My neck thief! Sorry, Father.
couldn't see that Rolina can do the right thing when it comes to it. So teachers at the girls' school are all back to work. Like nothing ever happened. That's all the victims in Ohio. Well, no mention of the Massachusetts murder either. Yeah, yeah. What's going on now with the ghost? Looks like history back on track. Thank you, Gab. Oh, well. Hey. It's been a while. A long, 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 long. Dude, you're so right. subtle. He's dramatic, as you know. What he meant to say was, we missed you. I do back. Burgers, beer. Yeah, I'm lucky. Forgiven. <laughs> what you been up to? Oh, jogging, tai chi, meditation, melting guru brains. Uh, melting guru brains? There's no easy way to say it, so I'm just going to say it. I have sort of been working with the British men of letters. You, uh, you what? <laughs> exactly. Uh, Mom. Why? We, um, we have a history with that. I know, Sam. And it's I a hard decision. Know. But they're doing good work. I help them save people, a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Nothing I want to learn. Do not give me the face. <laughs> you know the face. <laughs> That's the face. Mom, we have our own toolkit. And it works just fine. Yeah, and for obvious reasons. Like broken ribs and broken feet. We don't trust them. So where does that leave us? Hmm. Seems always. Hmm. Yeah. They're very, very hurt by this. Just give me up. You can see it all over Dean's face. And Sam. a very interesting episode so <laughs> because if she gives birth to this thing I think it would make it to Antichrist that's what I think so I just gotta hope that the boys find it before then hopefully so that is it for my supernatural reactions I hope you liked this episode give it a thumbs up if you did Leave any comments that you think I should do to improve this weekly 
episodes that I do. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.